In 1998, Metal Gear Solid was released on the PlayStation and is arguably one of the greatest games of all time. Now, Metal Gear Solid was a sequel to Metal Gear released in 1987 and Metal Gear 2 released in 1990. However, Metal Gear Solid was the first 3D rendered Metal Gear game. Starring Solid Snake, who is still one of the most iconic characters, later followed by this guy who shall not be named, but then Solid Snake did come back in many different forms of course. So with over 29 years of games, Metal Gear has a secret or two, so here's 10 things you didn't know about Metal Gear Solid. Following on from Metal Gear 2 in 1990, Hideo Kojima began work on the third installment of the Metal Gear series on the Panasonic 3DO console. Now Panasonic and 3DO actually started to market the Metal Gear game, putting it in several posters in some of the existing 3DO games, which is a pretty cool marketing campaign. Now actually Sony swooped in, stole Metal Gear to put it on the PlayStation, and Metal Gear Solid was born, but we could have had had a very, very different Metal Gear game on the 3DO. Technology in the early 90s was very limited and the software to design 3D levels just wasn't there. So what did Hideo Kojima and his team do? They used none other than LEGO to design the initial areas for Metal Gear Solid in its first concept, which is just an awesome, awesome fact. Metal Gear Solid was actually a remake of the 1990 Metal Gear 2 game on the MSX2 computer system. A lot of the set pieces, a lot of the areas are the exact same in Metal Gear Solid. However, they're now rendered in 3D and look awesome. But Hideo Kojima actually took a lot of that game and just recreated it for Metal Gear Solid. In an interview with Gamers Today, Hideo Kojima revealed why Metal Gear Solid had the Solid part of his name. Now at the time of development of the game, they were going head to head against Square, who were obviously the guys behind the Final Fantasy series. So in the quote, he said, a Square is a two-dimensional thing. And I guess the president of Konami wanted this game to surpass Square. They wanted to make it a cube, you know, like Solid 3D, so it's got that meaning too. So there you go, Metal Gear Solid is called that name purely to have a dig at the creators of Final Fantasy. In the final battle with Liquid Ocelot at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4, you will find yourself in a headlock via Liquid. Now if you mess up the button sequence on the screen, he will kiss Snake. Yes, Liquid Ocelot will kiss Snake on the cheek if you miss the on-screen prompt buttons. Why does he do that? No idea, but it happens. The iconic battle with Psycho Mantis in Metal Gear Solid is quite easy to beat. All you have to do is unplug the controller from controller port 1, plug it into controller port 2 and away you go. However, there is an alternative way to defeat him after Campbell tells you to take the controller out and put it into controller port 2. If you still die and then call Campbell back, he will inform you that you can destroy the statues on either side of Psycho Mantis to have the same effect. It's quite a cool little work around just in case you don't want to swap controllers so there is a second cheeky way to defeat Psycho Mantis. In Metal Gear Solid there are several hidden easter eggs one of the biggest being a camera which if you find and complete the game with then restart the game with that camera will allow you to go on a ghost hunt and track all 42 creators of Metal Gear Solid and see their images through the camera within the game. It's a really nice easter egg. However, with it being on the PlayStation 1, if you want to take and keep all 42 pictures of the creators, it will cost you a whopping six memory cards worth of data, which is just incredible. One of the biggest curveballs in history was Metal Gear Solid 2, which featured a new main character who shall not be named. Now, the voice actor for Solid Snake, David Hayter, later revealed in an interview that he was unaware Solid Snake was not going to be the main character in Metal Gear Solid 2. It just shows that was kept secret from literally everybody. David Hayter, the voice of Solid Snake, was possibly 
one of the most committed voice actors in all of gaming. To get it ultra realistic, he actually put himself through quite a lot of stress to the point of making sure he was actually physically vomiting over a microphone to get the full and proper sound effect needed for when Solid Snake would be sick in the game. That is commitment by a voice actor, people. We salute you, David Hater. In an interview, Hideo Kojima revealed that Solid Snake incorporated three men to create his character. The biggest influence was, of course, Kurt Russell's Snake Pliskin. He then used the face of the one and only Christopher Walken, which is just awesome, and the body of Jean-Claude Van Damme. So it's a hybrid mix of Jean-Claude Van Damme, Christopher Walken, and Kurt Russell. How awesome is that? What's wrong? Snake! So there you have it, that's 10 things you didn't know about Metal Gear Solid. If you enjoyed the video then give it a big thumbs up and if you are new around here then please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, enjoy your gaming, I've been Waterfields1, see you later.